Want to know how much time you really have left? Once you pass 70, every year feels more precious. And the truth is, your body is already giving you signals about how long you may live. Some people in their 70s still feel strong, sharp, and full of life. While others start to slow down, dealing with health problems and fatigue. The difference? It's often found in a few key signs. Subtle but powerful indicators that can give you a glimpse into your future. In this video, we're going to talk about seven signs that can reveal how long you may live after 70. These are not guesses or myths. They are based on real patterns that researchers and doctors have observed in people who live long, healthy lives. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to look for in your own body and lifestyle, and more importantly, what you can do to maximize your chances of living longer and staying healthier. Stay tuned until the end because you might be overlooking small things that could have a huge impact on your future. And once you recognize these signs, you'll have a clear idea of where you stand and what changes you might need to make to add years to your life. Now let's get started. Sign one, Tumor Sewer one. Sign one, your walking speed. One of the strongest indicators of how long you might live after 70 isn't hidden in your DNA, your medical records, or even your diet. It's something far simpler, your walking speed. Studies have shown that people who maintain a steady, brisk walking pace in their 70s and beyond tend to live longer than those who slow down significantly. That's because walking speed is directly linked to overall health, muscle strength, cardiovascular function, and even brain health. Think about two people, Joe and Frank, both 75 years old. Joe walks every morning, keeps a steady pace, and doesn't struggle when crossing the street or climbing stairs. His movements are fluid, balanced, and confident. Frank, on the other hand, used to be active, but has slowed down significantly over the last few years. He struggles to keep up with others, takes frequent breaks, and sometimes feels unsteady on his feet. While Joe's pace suggests that his body is still functioning well, Frank's declining speed could be a warning sign that his health is deteriorating. A slow, unsteady walk isn't just about aging. It can signal underlying issues like muscle weakness, poor circulation, or even early neurological decline. Your legs are your foundation, and when they start to weaken, so does your overall resilience. The good news? Walking speed is something you can improve. The more you walk, the stronger you stay. If you've noticed yourself slowing down, don't ignore it. Start making small efforts to build strength, whether it's taking more walks, using light weights, or doing simple leg exercises. Because in the end, how fast you move through, life literally can tell you a lot about how long you'll keep moving at all. So pay attention to your pace. It might just be the simplest way to check in on your longevity. Sign to your grip strength. Believe it or not, the strength of your handshake might be revealing more about your future than you think. Research has found that grip strength is one of the clearest indicators of overall vitality in older adults. A firm, steady grip suggests strong muscles, good circulation, and a well-functioning nervous system. On the other hand, a weak or declining grip can be an early warning sign of muscle loss, frailty, and even a higher risk of health complications. Take Robert, a 78-year-old man who always prided himself on his firm handshake. He stayed active, did light, weightlifting, and never had trouble opening jars or carrying groceries. Then there's Walter, also 78, who started noticing that simple tasks, like twisting the cap off a bottle or holding on to a heavy bag felt harder than they used to. He dismissed it as just aging, but what he didn't realize was that his declining grip strength was signaling a loss of muscle mass, which could make him more prone to falls, injuries, and even shorter life expectancy. Your hands are a reflection of your overall muscle health. If your grip is weakening, chances are, so is the rest of your body. And the more strength you lose, the harder it becomes to stay independent, active, and resilient. The good news, you can rebuild it. Simple exercises like squeezing a tennis ball, using hand grippers, or even carrying light weights can help maintain your grip and keep your muscles strong. So take a moment and test your grip. If shaking hands feels weaker than it used to, or if everyday tasks are getting harder, don't ignore it. Because how well you hold on to things today might just tell you how well you'll hold on to life in the years to come. If you're still watching this video and finding these insights valuable, please comment number two below to let me know you're here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss any videos. Now let's move forward. Sign three, your ability to stand on one leg. Balance isn't something most people think about until they start losing it. But your ability to stand on one leg for at least 10 seconds is one of the strongest predictors of how long you'll live. Researchers have found that people who struggle with balance are more likely to experience falls, 
injuries, and even cognitive decline. On the other hand, those who can maintain their balance well into their 70s and beyond tend to live longer, healthier lives. Imagine two women, Carol and Nancy, both in their early 70s. Carol has always been active. She walks daily, does yoga, and can easily lift one foot off the ground for several seconds without wobbling. Nancy, on the other hand, hasn't paid much attention to her balance over the years. When she tries to stand on one leg, she immediately starts tipping over, needing to grab onto something to steady herself. What Nancy doesn't realize is that this loss of balance isn't just an inconvenience. It's a warning sign that her coordination, muscle strength, and even brain function may be declining. Good balance relies on strong legs, a sharp nervous system, and a healthy brain. If you notice yourself stumbling more often, feeling unsteady when turning quickly, or needing to hold on to walls or furniture for support, it's time to take action. The best part, balance can be improved. Simple exercises like standing on one foot for a few seconds each day, walking heel to toe, or practicing light Tai Chi can help you rebuild stability. Try this test right now, stand up and lift one foot off the ground. Can you hold it for 10 seconds without struggling? If not, don't panic, but don't ignore it either. Because the more you work on your balance today, the stronger and steadier you'll be for the years ahead. Sign four, your sleeping patterns. How well you sleep at night says a lot about how long you might live. Sleep is not just about rest, it's when your body repairs itself, strengthens the immune system, and clears toxins from the brain. Studies have shown that people over 70 who maintain consistent, high-quality sleep tend to live longer and healthier lives, while those who struggle with poor sleep have a higher risk of memory decline, heart disease, and weakened immunity. Think about two men, Henry and Bill, both in their mid-70s. Henry has a steady bedtime, sleeps around seven hours each night, and wakes up feeling refreshed. Bill, on the other hand, has restless nights tossing and turning, waking up multiple times, and sometimes struggling to fall asleep at all. Over time, Henry's body continues to function well, his mind stays sharp, and his energy levels remain steady. But Bill starts experiencing brain fog, daytime fatigue, and even changes in his blood pressure, all linked to his declining sleep quality. If you wake up often during the night, have difficulty staying asleep, or find yourself feeling exhausted even after hours in bed, don't brush it off. Your body is telling you something. Poor sleep can be linked to many things, stress, poor diet, lack of physical activity, or even undiagnosed health conditions like sleep apnea. The good news, sleep quality can be improved. Simple changes like reducing screen time before bed, sticking to a routine, getting natural sunlight in the morning, or avoiding heavy meals at night can make a huge difference. Sleep isn't just about feeling rested, it's about keeping your body and mind functioning at their best. So tonight, pay attention to how you sleep. If you wake up tired, struggle to stay asleep, or feel like your sleep has changed in recent years, it's time to make adjustments. Because how well you rest today might just determine how strong and healthy you stay in the years ahead. If you're still watching this video and finding these insights valuable, please comment number four below to let me know you're here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss any videos. Your support helps us continue creating good content to inform and inspire you. Now let's move forward. Sign five, your appetite and eating habits. The way you eat after 70 is one of the strongest indicators of how long you might live. A healthy appetite and a well-balanced diet keep your body strong, your immune system resilient, and your energy levels high. On the other hand, a sudden loss of appetite or poor eating habits can signal underlying health issues and even accelerate aging. Consider two women, Margaret and Susan, both 74 years old. Margaret enjoys her meals, eats a variety of fresh, whole foods, and maintains a steady weight. She looks forward to preparing her own meals and feels energized throughout the day. Susan, however, has noticed that she just isn't as hungry as she used to be. She skips meals, relies on processed foods, and has unintentionally lost weight over the past year. What she doesn't realize is that her declining appetite isn't just a small change. It's a red flag that her body may not be absorbing nutrients properly, which could weaken her muscles, slow down her metabolism, and even affect her immune system. A decreased appetite in older adults is often linked to underlying health concerns, including digestive issues, hormonal changes, or even early signs of cognitive decline. And when you're not eating enough, your body starts breaking down muscle, leading to weakness, frailty, and an increased risk of falls and illness. If you've noticed changes in your eating habits, whether it's feeling full too quickly, a lack of interest in food or unexpected weight loss, it's important to take action. 
Eating well after 70 isn't just about staying full. It's about giving your body the nutrients it needs to function properly. Focus on whole, nutrient-dense foods, stay hydrated, and don't ignore a shrinking appetite. It could be your body's way of telling you that something needs attention. So ask yourself, are you still enjoying your meals? Are you getting enough protein, fiber, and healthy fats to keep your body strong? Or have you noticed a decline in your appetite and energy levels? The way you eat today has a direct impact on how strong and independent you'll be in the years ahead. Sign six, your ability to handle stress. How you handle stress after 70 can tell you a lot about how long you'll live. Chronic stress doesn't just affect your mood, it weakens your immune system, raises your risk of heart disease, and even accelerates aging. On the other hand, people who know how to manage stress effectively tend to stay healthier, more active, and mentally sharp well into their later years. Take John and Richard, both 76 years old. John faces challenges just like anyone else. Unexpected expenses, health scares, family issues, but he has learned to handle them with a calm, steady approach. He practices deep breathing, stays socially engaged, and doesn't dwell on problems longer than necessary. Richard, however, holds on to stress. He constantly worries about things outside of his control, feels overwhelmed by small frustrations, and often finds himself stuck in negative thought patterns. Over time, this constant stress wears on his body, his blood pressure rises, his sleep suffers, and his energy levels drop. Long-term stress triggers inflammation in the body, which has been linked to nearly every major age-related disease, from Alzheimer's to heart conditions. If you're often feeling tense, irritable, or emotionally drained, don't ignore it. Finding ways to manage stress, whether through mindfulness, exercise, deep breathing, or even laughter, can add years to your life. Ask yourself when challenges arise, do you adapt and move forward? Or do you hold on to worry and let stress take control? Your ability to stay calm, find solutions, and focus on what you can control isn't just good for your mind. It's a key factor in how long and how well you live. If you're still watching this video and finding these insights valuable, please comment number six below to let me know you're here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss any videos. Your support helps us continue creating good content to inform and inspire you. Now let's move forward. Sign seven, your social connections. The strength of your relationships can be one of the clearest indicators of how long you might live after 70. Studies have consistently shown that people with strong social ties, whether through friendships, family, or community involvement, tend to live longer, healthier lives. Loneliness, on the other hand, has been linked to higher risks of heart disease, depression, cognitive decline, and even early mortality. Think about two women, Eleanor and Barbara, both 78 years old. Eleanor has an active social life. She stays in touch with old friends, participates in a local book club, and enjoys spending time with family. She looks forward to her conversations, laughs often, and feels a sense of connection to the people around her. Barbara, however, spends most of her time alone. She has lost touch with many of her friends over the years, and though she has family, she rarely reaches out. As the months pass, she starts feeling isolated, her mood declines, and her overall health begins to suffer. Human connection is more than just emotional support, it plays a direct role in physical health. When you interact with others, your brain stays active, your stress levels drop, and your body releases chemicals that promote overall well-being. If you found yourself withdrawing from social activities, avoiding phone calls, or spending more time alone than you used to, it's time to change that. Staying connected doesn't mean you have to be surrounded by people all the time. Even small efforts, reaching out to an old friend, joining a group with shared interests, or making it a habit to have meaningful conversations can make all the difference. Because the relationships you nurture today don't just bring happiness, they help ensure that you stay healthier and live longer in the years to come. Final thoughts. Now that you know these seven signs, take a moment to reflect on where you stand. Are you moving through life with strength and confidence? Or have you noticed subtle changes that might be warning signs? The good news is that most of these factors, your walking speed, grip strength, balance, sleep quality, eating habits, stress levels, and social connections are things you can improve. Your future isn't set in stone, and the choices you make today can have a powerful impact on how many years you have ahead of you. If you've recognized areas where you need to improve, don't wait for a doctor to tell you it's time to make a change. Start now. Take more walks, strengthen your muscles, 
prioritize good sleep, stay socially connected, and find ways to manage stress. The goal isn't just to live longer, it's to live better. Because at the end of the day, longevity isn't just about the number of years you have left, but the quality of life you experience in those years. Thank you for joining us today. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and share one thing you learned today and how you plan to use it in your life. Your thoughts are important to us, so don't hesitate to share them. Reading your comments gives us great motivation and encouragement. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Your support helps us continue creating good content to inform and inspire you. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.